This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Here you can see, I have imported my logo, which I will be using in this tutorial, also you will need the floor texture file, you can download it from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create it, create a new composition, I will name it as logo reveal. Here I will set time duration to just 5 seconds. Now let's add logo to the timeline, here my logo color is black, so I will add fill effect for logo. I will set color for my logo, this is optional depending on your logo. Here I will scale my logo, you can scale your logo if needed. Perfect. Now let's pre-compose it. I will name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. Here for this logo composition, we need to create mask for logo. To do that, go to layer, select auto trace. This will create mask for our logo. You can see the outline of logo. Now for this logo let's add Seba, go to effects. From video copilot, select Seba. If you haven't installed Seba plugin, you can download it from below link in the description. For Seba, in customize core, set core type to, layer mask. Now let's set preset to, thin. Let's hide the mask. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for glow intensity. Set glow intensity to, zero. Now go at one second. Set glow intensity to, 35%. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for core size. Set it to, 0. Now go at 1 second. Change core size to, 2. Now go at 3 seconds. Change core size to, 0. Perfect. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for mask evolution. Now at end of the timeline, set mask evolution to 260. Now let's set start size to 25%. You can see the preview. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for start offset. Now at one second, change start offset to 60%. Now at 1 second, create keyframe for end offset. Now at start of the timeline, set end offset to 30%. You can see the preview. Now let's create duplicate of logo composition, press U to view keyframes. Now for Seba. Now go at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for glow intensity. Now move 5 frames forward. Set glow intensity to 40%. Now at 4 seconds and 20 frames. Set glow intensity to 30%. Now for core size, at 3 seconds and 5 frames, set core size to 2. Now at 4 seconds and 20 frames, set core size to 0. You can see the preview.
Now at 3 seconds, create keyframe for start offset. Now move 5 frames forward. Change start offset to 0%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now for this logo composition, change mode to add. Now let's create duplicate of this composition. Press U to view keyframes. Now at 1 second, change glow intensity to 40%. Now at 3 seconds and 5 frames, set core size to 1. Now for 1 second, set core size to 1. Perfect. Now let's place this mask evolution keyframe at 20 frames. Here you can adjust the evolution value. You can see the preview. Now at start of the timer line, set end offset to 0%. Perfect. Now for this logo composition. In effects and preset, search for CC Radial Fast Blur, add it to the logo composition. Now at near about 1 second, we will adjust the blur center. Create keyframe for center. Now at near about 2 seconds and 15 frames. Adjust the center position as shown, place it on the other side of the logo. Now at 3 seconds. Change position of center as shown. Now at end of the timer line. Again change center position as shown. Here you can see the preview. Now at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for amount, set amount to 100. Now at 15 frames. Set amount to 80. You can see the preview. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now for this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for unsharp mask, add it to the adjustment layer. For unsharp mask, set amount to 80. Set radius to 3. Now again create a new adjustment layer. Now for this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for camera lens blur, add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for blur radius. Now at start of the timer line, set blur radius to 20. Now go at 3 seconds. Set blur radius to 0. You can see the preview. To get the blur effects fast, you can adjust the keyframes for above logo composition. Press U to view keyframes. For fast blur, select center keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Here I will slightly adjust the keyframe position. Perfect. Now select all the layers. Pre-compose them. I will name it as Sab logo.
Now let's create the reflection effects. Let's import the floor texture media file, you can download it from below link in the description. Now add it to the timeline. Change it to 3D. Now press R to bring up rotation, now let's set, X orientation to, 87 degree, now for this floor texture, in effects and preset, search for motion tile, add it to the texture, select mirror edges, now set output width and height to, 500. For texture, press P to bring up position, now adjust the position for floor, depending on your logo. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid layer. Select rectangle tool. Now create mask for solid layer as shown. Now for mask 1. Adjust the mask feather value as shown. Now select both layers, floor and solid layer, pre-compose them. Name it as floor. Here I will place it below logo composition. I will just hide it. Now for sub logo. In effects and preset, search for mirror. Add it to the logo composition. For mirror, set reflection angle to 90 degree. Now adjust the reflection center for Y position as shown. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for compound blur, add it to the adjustment layer. For blur, set layer to, floor. Here you can adjust the blur value. Here I will set it to, 50. You can see the preview. Now add logo composition to the timeline. Press T to bring up opacity. Now at near about 5 to 6 frames, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start, set it to 0%. Here I will place this logo composition at near about 3 seconds. You can see the preview. Now let's see the final preview. Perfect, here our Saba logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.